Hello all developers and job aspirants and everybody watching out there. Good evening and welcome to another session with me, Varun Rao on Tech Tablet, right? And in today's session, we would take things forward. Let us look at some basics of coding, understand SAP reports, okay? Now in today's session, we would just take the previous session forward, all right? We, in the previous session, we looked at the concatenate statement correct in this session what we'll do is let me just you know delete this and uh, let us look at how to you know work on some color statements followed by you know how to you know justify use some statements like left, left justify right justify center things like this so i would first be using the term parameters we've already seen what parameters is all right now i'll just be taking some words here all right so let me write words all right and this would be of some characters with 10 characters the type would be c all right and let me also take uh, some numbers okay and the type would be i all right integer now what i would do is now i would want to write these statements so the first thing that i would want to write would be my words all right and i want my words to have color let me try some different color too and initially let me just you know begin with two different colors okay uh, and not only this i would also like to write the other statement that is number with another color and this would be color four all right saving this let's see if there's any errors okay it says comma okay okay i have used a full stop and a comma so let me just delete that okay no error activating this the object is activated okay so now i would like to enter some okay and this would be one two three four now because it is uh, i variant things would be coming from the right side the right to left pattern would be followed for numbers numbers would not start from left to right that's the first thing and secondly when you use the the type i you would not be able to enter alphabet c i'm trying to enter different alphabets but it would it wouldn't take the alphabet so these are the two things that you've got to remember when you work on words and numbers i'm clicking on execute you would be noticing that both of them are falling in the same line with different colors right now let me do two changes the first thing would be to you know add the next line remark and the second thing would be to change the colors and see what output i would be having all right, no inconsistency is found. Now let me execute this. Okay, so now it's in blue and green and it's one below another. Now what I'll do is I would like to use certain things like, right, great, we have right justified. So now I will just execute this and see what right justify would do for me. Using the same values again. See now if you're able to see when my words has come on to the right hand side of it and it's not, it's no more on the left. Now they're just like right justified, you have uh, left justified as well, which you can use for numbers. So let me do that and we'll see what this would do to the code 
let us quickly take the same values so now if you're able to see things which were on the opposite side have now changed their sides i've bought words to the right and alpha and my numbers to the left this is also something that can be achieved now notwithstanding these there is something called as centered as well now words have been taken numbers have been taken so now let me take something called as alpha okay with 10 and this would be type c again but this time what we'll do is alpha color 6 now that the color has been designated we'll give this a centered pattern okay there is something called as centered all right right and now let us observe the difference between right justified left justified and centered now this should give us a good idea and a difference between all of them so i would take words here i would take one two three and because this is again of type c let me take the same thing alpha all right executing so now if you're able to see this is right this is on the left and this is on the center with different colors that is blue green and red so this is how you can play around with words and you can you know come up with different uis that is different user interfaces which can look brilliant all right so this is the thing that i have for you in this session so i hope you've learned something new and you understood some more depths of basics uh, now if you like this we would or if you have any queries in the first place if you are looking for any in-depth of training or if there's anything that you've not understood or you'd like to understand further there's a comment section below you can always use that hit the like button if you have liked the video you can always click on subscribe and the bell icon if you are looking for regular updates and notifications on the videos that would be released and if you feel that it might help anyone you always have the share button and it would really be encouraged if you share this as the main motive is to ensure that at least a few out there who are looking for some help are getting it at the right point of time and you know if you have enjoyed watching the session and if you learned something new in this session then stay subscribed to our channel tech tablet for many more videos as there's a lot of knowledge here to be exchanged between us and the next video would be on the same uh, topic which which is sap reports but it would be uh, on part three all right we have already covered data dictionary we we have uh, seen some basics of how to create a table and stuff like that and there are a lot of videos going on on sap ui5 uh, front end and o data as well sap fury 2.0 has come in um, and all these would be posted on the blog as well the website that you have in the description section below the blog is under construction right now uh, so yeah many things going at the same time uh, it depends on how much you want to grab uh, so yeah thanks a lot for watching and it was really lovely ha having you there all the very best stay coding and keep growing have a great day ahead